Here's the latest from the AIA. AIA members travel to the heart of Seattle to participate in the 114th AIA-APA Joint Annual Meeting. Over four days, more than 800 papers were presented in 140 sessions, our largest academic program on record. The meeting opened with a public lecture by Jody Magnus and a spectacular opening night reception held in the glass-enclosed lobby of the Washington State Convention Center. Highlights included a fun new lightning session featuring five-minute presentations of new ideas with time for feedback, a presidential plenary session exploring urbanization in Europe, the Americas, Southeast Asia, and even an opera. Several individuals were recognized for their achievements in archaeology at the awards ceremony on Friday night. The awards reflect contributions to scholarship, education, public outreach, heritage management, and conservation. At the 134th meeting of the AIA Council, the Council voted to adopt a new mission statement and elected members to the governing board including David Ackert, Carla Antonaccio, Derek Counts, Becky Lau, Deborah Lair, and Robert Rothberg. The AIA wishes to express its gratitude to all trustees completing their terms in 2013 for their years of dedication and service to the Institute. For the 13th year, the AIA brought hands-on archaeological experiences to the annual meeting's host city through the annual Archaeology Fair. This year, the AIA teamed up with the Burke Museum of Natural History and Culture to host nearly 800 visitors at the Burke on Saturday, January 5th. During the fair, participants, mostly children and families, learned about ancient Egyptian mummies, the archaeology of Puget Sound, the lives of Roman soldiers, ancient rock art, garbology, and more. Everyone had a lot of fun. Also in January, the AIA sent representatives to the 7th World Archaeological Congress at the Dead Sea in Jordan. AIA Director of Programs Ben Thomas co-chaired a session with World Archaeological Congress President Claire Smith entitled, How Does Collaboration Among Archaeological Organizations Benefit Archaeologists and the Discipline? In the session, representatives from seven archaeological groups made presentations that led to a lively discussion with audience members about potential future collaborations. Finally, the AIA still has a few 2013 calendars available and they are now on sale for just $8. All proceeds will benefit the AIA Site Preservation Program. While we are discussing calendars, please save the date for the AIA Annual Spring Fundraising Gala. This year's Greek-themed event will take place on April 24th at the Tribeca Rooftop in Manhattan. At the event, Malcolm H. Weiner will be honored with the 2013 Bandelier Award for Public Service to Archaeology. Hope to see you there. <laughs>